friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medico's Heart. Today we are going to discuss the normal lateralis, it is the lateral view of a skull. We can observe that this is nasal bone, this is maxillary bone and this one is lacrimal bone. This is the orbital plate of ethmoid bone. This is frontal bone and this is coronal suture. This is parietal bone. This region is known as sterion. Now, perion, in perion we can observe that there are various sutures. This is frontal bone, this is parietal bone, this one is temporal bone and this one is sphenoid bone. So, this is perion. Now, this is squamous suture. This is lambdoid suture. And this is occipital bone. Now in the lateral part of the skull, we can observe this process. This is mastoid process. Mastoid process uh, is a nipple like large projection which is uh, developing from the lower part of the temporal bone. It projects downwards anteriorly and medially. Now, this is styloid process. The styloid process is also a pointed spine like structure emerging from the lowermost part of the temporal bone or the mastoid part of the temporal bone. It also mediates anteriorly, inferiorly, and medially. And it is also anteromedial to the mastoid process. This is external auditory meatus. Now, this is to observe this region. Just superior posterior to the external auditory meatus is known as supramiatal. Triangle or McEwen's triangle. This supramedial triangle or McEwen's triangle is having boundaries as supramestoid crest forms the upper margin. Anteriorly, there is posterior superior margin of extraordinary meatus and Posteriorly, we can observe there is a tangent to the external auditory canal, posterior surface of external auditory canal. So, this is supramedial triangle or McEwen's triangle. Its important, uh, importance is that it's, uh, it forms the lateral border or the boundary of mastoid antrum or tympanic antrum. Now, this one is zygomatic arch. Zygomatic arch is made up of two portions. One is this and another one is this. This portion is anterior one third and is formed by the zygomatic, uh, it is formed by the temporal process of zygomatic bone. And this one is the posterior two third and it is formed by the zygomatic process of the temporal bone. So, these are forming the zygomatic arch. Now, this is jugal point. Jugal point is basically the meeting point of the upper border of the zygomatic arch and the zygomatic bone proper. This is the jugal point. Now, this is mandible and this Horizontal bar is zygomatic arch. Okay, we have discussed that. And this region, 
there is a depressed area in this region and this region is known as temporal fossa this whole region is known as temporal fossa now what are the boundaries of temporal fossa temporal fossa is line superiorly wide temporal lines they, uh, the temporal line originates from the frontal bone zygomatic process of the frontal bone it arches upwards and backwards and then crosses the coronal suture and divides into superior and uh, sorry uh, superior and inferior temporal lines so this one is superior temporal line which fades away but the inferior temporal line continues towards the zygomatic arch so this forms the upper portion yeah, upper boundary this is the lower uh, lower boundary that is which is formed by the superior border of the zygomatic uh, arch and the floor of temporal fossa is formed is crossed by the perion the anterior uh, if we discuss the anterior wall anterior wall or anterior margin is formed by the uh, zygomatic process zygomatic bone mainly and a little part by the frontal bone and also some part may be contributed by the sphenoid bone this is temporal fossa temporal fossa communicates with another fossa that is infratemporal fossa which is just below the mandible and the zygomatic arch somewhere here this is the infratemporal fossa behind or below the mandibles upper portion and the zygomatic arch in this region if infratemporal fossa is considered it communicates with the temporal fossa by a gap deep to the zygomatic arch so the boundaries are the upper the roof is formed medially by the infratemporal process of the greater wing of sphenoid bone and little part by the temporal fossa the roof is laterally incomplete the floor is open posterior wall is open and the anterior wall is basically formed by the later the medial part of the zygomatic bone and the maxillary bones while the lateral wall is formed by the mandible so this is infra temporal fossa and this is norma lateralis so hit the like button share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications